Hello friends, another Vegas Pro tutorial, number 5, overlaying videos, pictures and logos. Have you seen that effect when you're watching a video and suddenly a picture appears floating over your video and also another video or a logo? In this tutorial, we will use the track motion feature in Vegas Pro to create this kind of effects in a 2D and 3D workspace. Let's get started. Remember, if you're watching this video from YouTube, down in the video description you will find a link to our full Vegas Pro tutorial playlist. If you click on that link, YouTube will take you to the full Vegas Pro tutorial we are being created. So let's come back and open Vegas Pro. Click and now import a background video. Go to File, Import, Media and then select a video like this one. Open. I don't want to use the trimmer this time so I'm going just to click and drag it to a timeline and trim it here. Let's preview the video. Brave girls. Ok, I'm going to position the marker like this, going to split, right click delete, drag to the beginning and this video would like it to last about a little less than 20 seconds like here. So I'm going to split, right click and delete. I would also like to get rid of the sound. Remember how to do that? Keep the video but delete the sound. You right click on the sound, go to group, remove from, then now I can right click on the sound and delete only the sound. Now it's time to overlay pictures. Just import a picture. File, import, media, and let's select a picture. Any picture. Like, let's select one. Like this one. It's a PNG file. It doesn't have background. Let's use this. Open. Now I want this picture flying over this video. In order to do that, I need another track. So right click, insert video track, click. And now let's drag the picture, click and drag it to a timeline, like this. Now if we play the video, position the marker at the beginning, and let's play this, click. That is how. We're overlaying a picture on a video. I would like the picture to last all video long, so I'm gonna drag this border till the end. Now we're gonna use track motion to make this picture moving around. This picture is indicated by this clip. So to motion, we go to this tool, more, click on that. Then we're gonna use a simple track motion, a 2D track motion. Click on that. The selected clip, this picture, is now indicated by this rectangle. If I drag its border, I adjust the position of the picture, dragging its borders. If I drag its corners, like this, I adjust the size, remember? the borders, the position, the corners, the size. Let's apply some animation, some motion. We saw that before in our second tutorial. First, make sure this marker, this cursor is at the bottom, at the beginning. Let's delete this, right click, delete, and make sure you have enabled the same cursor. And now let's make some adjustments. Let's apply some keyframing to this, the position. At the beginning of the video now, I would like this picture to be smaller, so drag its corner, like this. I would like it to be somewhere else, drag its border to this point. Later in the video, I would like it to go up, drag its border like this, rotate a little, and then very fastly, the picture moves to this other corner, and rotate a little, and then it gets bigger, drag its border, and move it down like this then at this moment I'm going to rotate look when I change the rotation this moment the angle of the orientation moves look like that you see if I want it to be straight I just click type 0 press enter and now the picture is just straight position it here 
like this or here don't cover the girl at the end of the video i can position it here or here i would like him to come back to the original position where or where we're here now let's play this video so position at the beginning like this and let's play this a simple 2d Track motion, animation. We overlay a picture over a video. Very simple. Okay, let's close this rigging. Now let's overlay a video. We need a new track, so right click, insert video track. Let's import a new video file, import media, go to videos, and select a video like this one. Open now, it's here in the project media. Let's drag it to the timeline. Position the marker, and as I want it to last only 20 seconds, I need to get rid of this area of the video. All this video must be deleted. So, I'm going to split, right click, and delete. Position the marker somewhere, and if you play this. You can see the video is covered in everything behind it. It's concealing the other video and the picture. Because Green Vegas videos, elements, pictures in an upper track obscure the videos in a lower track. So this is covering everything. Let's make some adjustments. Let's come back to more. And we're gonna use a track motion, right? But this time a 3D track motion. So go to compositing mode, compositing mode, and then 3D source alpha. Click on that. Now if you click on track motion, click track motion, now we have a 3D workspace. This is very important. Now we can still use the borders to drag the video. You see, everything is behind. Now it's still possible to drag the corner to adjust the size. Or I can make some other kind of adjustments. It can rotate this way, this way, this way. You see? This kind of rotation is indicated by these numbers. If I want the original position, I go to orientation and then type 0 presenter, 0 presenter, and 0 presenter. Now we learn to make some rotation in a 3D workspace. The 3D source alpha. Let's apply some motion. Remember, delete this. Make sure to have enabled the scene cursor and position the marker at the beginning. At the beginning of the video, we would like this video to be shorter. So go to this corner, drag it a little, and position it at this corner. Then at this moment of the video, I would like it to be here. I would like it to be even smaller. I would like to make some rotation. Maybe a little more, like this. As I'm adjusting here, you can see these numbers move also, like this. I want to use this. At this moment of the video, I would like this to be over here, and then I just like this, I just the position, drag these borders, I would like to rotate it like this, over here, over here, position the marker here, I would like it to be at this corner, let's adjust the orientation, like here, zero, enter, zero, enter, zero enter and i will like it to position it just like this maybe a little smaller when i drag it like this position the marker at the beginning and let's preview this Let's close this. So far, we have added a picture, this one, and we use track motion to make this picture move around the video, over the video. Then, import another video and use the same effect, but adding track motion in a 3D source alpha, a 3D workspace. Let's do the same with a logo. File, import, media. Let's find a picture and let's use the old YouTube logo. 
a PNG I have downloaded previously from Google. Well, I can right click and insert a new track to use the picture, but it is also possible to drag the, the picture, seal the border, and this square, this rectangle, indicates that if I draw here, I drop, it will be generated a new track automatically. I also like this picture to last this logo to last all the video, so I drag its border to match with the rest of the video. To position the marker over here to see, the logo is too big, no problem. Let's apply some animation. Remember how? You go here to more, click there, and let's apply a 3D animation. So you go to compositing mode, 3D source alpha. Remember that, 3D. And now we go to track motion. Click on track motion, and it's time to apply some motion in a 3D workspace. Position the marker at the beginning, make sure to have enabled the sync cursor. Let's adjust this. I would like this to be shorter at the beginning. I would like it to be here at the corner, over here. A little bit rotated, like this. Later at the video, I would like it to come down a little. Over here. Make some other adjustments, like this. Then I'm going to turn to the other corner. Just look for the border and drag to the other corner. Here is okay. Drag this like this. Drag it. And like that. Look at this. This. And then it slowly goes down. Position the marker here. Drag the border down. Over here. You can see this marker here this marker over here so the video is ending I'm going to drag this keyframe you can drag the keyframes you can also right click over a keyframe copy position the marker if you want to and paste the keyframe like this you can double click over a keyframe to adjust it as you like you can position the marker over here and you can also position it over here at this moment using the timeline I would like at this moment, a little later, the YouTube logo be beside the girl and the orientation to be zero presenter, zero presenter, zero presenter. Maybe a little up, like this. And this is up. Close this. And let's render this video. Remember how? You just go to File, Render As. I prefer an MP4. You select a setting for your MP4. I like a very simple 720 HD video. Then you say where you want to save the video. Go to Browse. I would like to save it at this folder. Save. And I would like to call this Vegas Tutorial File. And then just render. Click on Render. In a few seconds later, it will be done. Open folder. And you just created the video. It's an MP4 file of 19 seconds. Let's close this. So in this video we learn how to overlay videos, pictures and logos by using the track motion tool. Here or more, you can use the track motion, which you can define in a 2D workspace or a 3D workspace. Well, this is Lovinger. In the next video we'll be talking about text effects. Please tell me that you like this video and see you in the next one. And if you guys don't watch it on the actual day it comes out, it is probably Christmas. What? <laughs> Christmas is my favorite holiday of...